Good evening. This is Pat from Pat's Card Corner, and thank you for joining me tonight. Today is, well, it's time for a Take Two Tuesday, and I come to you every Tuesday at 8 o'clock um, with a fun project. And let me see if I can get rid of this shadow that is there. I'm not sure what that shadow's from, but all right. Well, we'll be all right. Excuse my shadow in the corner. Oh, there we got rid of it. Okay. Um, anyway, I have a really fun card for you today. And it has a little bit of a twist to it. Um, it is actually, the name of the card is actually a twisted easel card. So I'm giving you a little hint of what we're going to be doing. Um, I am using this stamp set. Uh, hey, Judith from Kentucky. Good to see you tonight. Um, I am using this stamp set. It's called In Bloom. It has lots of, a um, couple little fun things, a lot of fun little flowers on it. Um, it also has a matching die set. I'm going to take these out here so you can see. They're called Pierced Blooms. And if you look at them closely, you can see there's a lot of stitching on them. And I'll be showing you... Um, ones that I've already um, die cut with this set. Um, I'm gonna hold it a little bit this way. Kind of hard to tell where I'm going, where I'm aiming at. So <clears throat> anyway, it's a lot of fun to use. This stamp set actually coordinated with a set of papers that was in part of the celebration in January and February. And that's the paper that I am using tonight. That's a little piece of it and these are some of the other um, pieces of that paper. Um, it just kind of goes together. You can actually die cut some of these flowers that are in here directly from the, the dies right here. Um, but I'm also using this because two of the colors that are in this paper are retiring. So I'm trying to use up some of my retiring things um, to show you some fun cards. So two of those colors that will retire in May is this color here, which is this, which is Rococo Rose. And the other one is Seaside Spray, which is this background, really pretty blue color right there. Um, so anyway, trying to get some of that used up. I do have a lot of that extra paper. I'm gonna be posting on my blog some card kits that you can purchase with that, um, that are a lot of fun and they come with the card kits and some die cut blooms and directions and just all kinds of stuff. But we, tonight, we are making a card um, using those, these products right here. So I'm going to go over the pieces that you're going to need for tonight and the sizes. So um, if you haven't cut yours already and didn't see my post earlier today, you can maybe quickly cut a few or you can just watch and cut some later. Um, but you can take down the dimensions. So the first piece that we're going to use is a piece of cardstock. This is Rococo Rose, and the size is four and a quarter by eight and a half. Okay, so this that's not a normal size for um, if you're if you make a lot of cards. Um, they're usually four and a quarter by eleven. This is a little bit shorter. We are going to do some scoring um, with this piece too. So then you will also need two pieces of a coordinating cardstock um, that matches your paper. This is mine. Um, these are each four by four. Um, easy to cut, easy to measure. They're just four by four squares. And <clears throat> you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper. You can see where I got my colors from. They match um, this paper. This piece is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So another square. You will also need a piece of basic white that is the same size, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then you'll need a smaller piece of basic white that is two and a half by two and a half. And you'll need, um, I actually die cut this with one of the layering squares, so it's just got a scalloped edge. But you can just cut a regular piece, <coughs> excuse me, of cardstock that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And um, it can be either um, 
the Knight of Navy or your Rococo Rose, but you do want something that matches. So these are the only pieces that you're gonna need to make this card. And I'm gonna leave those there just for a second. Hey, Melissa. Um, so you can look at them and if you need to write down the measurements, you can. If you wanna take a quick screenshot, you can. Um, this video will be up on, on my Facebook page. Um, and it'll also be on my, a link to it will also be on my blog tomorrow. So um, you can watch it later and try and make your card later. Okay, so the first thing um, that we're going to need is you're going to need your paper trimmer. And let me get my things out. I'm gonna move these pieces out of the way. So we don't need those right now. We're just going to be using this piece right here. This is the four and a quarter by eight and a half. And we're gonna get your paper trimmer out. Move my things up here. And we're going to turn it long ways. So you want the long going across. We're gonna move the cutting blade out of the way because we are just scoring. We don't wanna cut. And we are going to score this at four and a quarter inches. So this piece is eight and a half. We're scoring it at four and a quarter, which is right down the middle. So this is actually going to make a square card. So it will still fit in our the regular size envelope um, that we use for all of our cards that, um, that fit a standard um, A2 card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So we're scoring this at four and a quarter. Now this is the fun part. So now we're gonna turn it a little so that the, the top corner, which is here, is going to be right in the track of our scoring blade. And then I'm gonna fold this so you can see a little better um, where it is. So, and we're gonna score it on the diagonal from, from this corner to right here at the bottom where our score line is. So we're gonna go right across there. So the easiest way to do that is you line up one corner in your track and then you line up where the, your score line is at the other part of the track. And you just might kind of have, you know, kind of move it around till you get it right where you want it. And that's, there we go. So we have this in the track, this is in the track. I'm gonna close this up and then we're just gonna score it. So it's scored right on the diagonal. And then this is where we scored the other part. And now we can put this away. And we are going to fold our card. So the first thing we're going to do, put my bone folder here, is we're going to fold this in half, just like this. Did I do that right? Hold on. Yep. To think, I had to think for a minute, am I doing that correctly? But yes, I am. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to open it back up. This piece where we scored it in the middle, this piece is going to fold up like that. I think I did that right. Okay, so when you see it, when it's not folded, it's kind of going to look like that. So it kind of has a little angle to it. So we're going to fold it and then we're going to just score that really good. Okay, so there's the, our, the base of our card. So now we're going to take, um, which pieces do I want to do first? We're going to take one of, we have two of these oh, squares. We're just going to take one and we're going to take this piece. And I'm actually going to move this out of the way just for a minute. And we're going to attach these two just like that. Get that out of the way. Get some adhesive. No, the back side's pretty too, isn't it? Kind of hate to cover them up sometimes, but that could be a different card. We're just gonna just lay that right on there. Okay. And now we're going to take our two smaller squares. This is the white one that's two and a half by two and a half. 
and then our other one, the Rococo Rose. This is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And we're actually gonna do a little bit of stamping right on this piece. And I am going to stamp, uh, what am I stamping? I'm gonna stamp these words right here. Congrats, you're so fancy now. So the I'm gonna show you the other card in a minute, but I kinda wanna surprise you. I don't wanna show it to you right away. Kind of want you to be a little surprised. So I am gonna stamp that in Rococo Rose. So I'm gonna get my ink. And stamp that. I'm gonna stamp it on the bottom because we're gonna do a little decorating with our um, pierced flowers. I'm gonna show you those in just a second. I'm just gonna stamp that right there. Close that up so I don't get my hand in it. And then I'm just gonna glue this piece right to that piece. Super easy. Get my hand off there. That stampin' seal is actually very nice and sticky. I love it. Okay. And then this piece, we're gonna do a little bit of decorating. So I showed you these um, die cuts. What I didn't show you is that I took um, pretty much every color that's in these papers and I die cut everything. The leaves, the flowers, the little flower centers, and I put them all on a tray, and here they are. So you can see, um, you can cut flowers out of green. They don't have to be. You can see how they're stitched. Hopefully you can see that. And so I did um, different colors and I'm just gonna kind of pick some out and kind of layer them with flowers on top of here. So, um, and I'm gonna use the colors that are in here. So I'm gonna kind of do the blues and the pinks. And there's all different sizes, all different shapes. Um, so you can kind of pick whatever you want. Um, there's little ones, teeny little ones like that. There's little flower centers. Um, you can have leaves. So if you look on here, there's some blue leaves. So you can do a couple blue leaves. There's some other leaves. Let's see what we want. Um, so I just like to take these and just kind of have fun with them and put them together. Um, some of these, like this one, I put together for another card and just then decided not to use it, so I still have that too, so I might use that too. Um, we'll just kind of play it by ear. Whoops, my thing's stuck there. So I found that the best way to put these together, um, you just kind of pick the pieces you want and you use glue dots um, to put them together. Some of these pieces are pretty small, so, or this one, it's just easy just to put it on, press it on. When you pull it up, the glue dot comes right off on it. And then you can just add it to your flower like that. So um, then if you wanna add a little more in the middle, you can just put another little one in the middle. Oops, got a glue dot over here. Let me use that one up. And it just makes it, it's real easy to do. It doesn't make a mess so you aren't you know dealing with you know, a lot of glue. Um, sometimes the tape runner is a little bit too big to use, especially on a tiny piece trying to get this on. So the glue dots are just kind of a perfect um, solution for that. So I'm just gonna kind of lay these on here and see what I like, and then I'm just gonna put them together. So I don't know, what do you think? Dark blue, light blue? I think we need a smaller pink one. Find a smaller pink one. Oh, there's a smaller pink one. Let's see what else we got. There's some light blue in here. We might just layer some of these on top of each other, kind of like that. And let's go see what I like and don't like. Maybe that's a little bit too big. Nope, too big. I don't like that one. Um, I'm playing with my pieces over here. Maybe we'll put one of those on it instead. Nope. I'll 
figure this out in a minute. I think I'm just gonna kind of play with them here. Oh, I know, we need to put this one on there. So I'm just gonna use my little glue dot, put that on there, that'll work. Maybe put some blue leaves, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Got a glue dot stuck on there. Put some blue leaves behind that one. Just kind of something to just kind of decorate it a little bit. Maybe stick another leaf down here. Maybe put that, nah, I don't need that. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna just kind of go with those. And what I'm going to do is the bottom leaves, I'm just gonna kind of glue flat. The other ones I'm gonna put on dimensionals just to give um, the card a little more interest. Um, I am gonna use for these, I am going to put just a little bit of glue on these, just on the bottom leaves here. I'm not going to put it on the top because I kind of want it to look like, um, you know, like a real leaf, not so flat. So there's really no um, pattern for this. It's just whatever you like and whatever you want to put on it. Um, if you're using a different um, stamp set, um, you can put other things on it. Um, I did this card with some of the, I'm going to move this up a little bit, some of my other stampers on Sunday night, and they made some really fun cards with this using other stamp sets. They used um, the snail mail, they used the whale stamp set. Um, they use the Dandy Garden stamp set that has a dragonfly. Really cute cards. And if you want to see those, they're going to be on my blog tomorrow. Hi, Colleen. It's good to see you. So, um, if anybody's wondering why I have this tied around here, because this unrolls, will unravel a lot. So this kind of holds it together so I can just kind of peel it back until I find one of the glue dots on here. So, it's so it doesn't kind of get away from me and kind of unravel. Oh, I meant to put that on a dimensional. Hold on. Let me go back here. I'm going to pull that off real quick. Because the thing about glue dots is you can get them off. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this one so that it sticks up a little bit more. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Put one on the back of this flower. Put that there. I think we'll add a little leaf on here. That was kind of sitting there. Looked like it needed to be used. So I'm just going to tuck that underneath right there. And just kind of glue that down. I think that's good. So, move that stuff out of the way. So this piece is going to go right in the middle of this, just like that. So I am going to put this on dimensionals, makes it easy to glue down. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I like to use a lot of dimensionals. So if you make your card <coughs> and everything is flat on it, it just doesn't look as interesting as if you kind of um, that came off. As if you kind of pop things up just a little bit, just gives it just a little bit more interest, makes it look a little bit fancier. And there we go. So that is going to be the front of our card. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute because we're going to do the inside here and then we're going to attach this at the very end And because I want to save the best part to last. So I'm going to move these out of the way. Move my extra flowers out of the way. I am going to need one more of these, but not yet. Okay, so this piece, these little things are everywhere. All right, so this white piece is going to go on top of our other piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. This is four by four. 
this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters just going to go right on top i am going to stamp a little bit right here down at the bottom and it's going to say you are amazing since i was saying congrats you're so fancy we're going to just reaffirm them a little bit with the you are amazing so i'm going to stamp this again in the rococo rose and let me just ink this up real quick i'm going to move this over so i'm not stamping on top Oop. there we go kind of stamp it put it right hopefully in the center Oh, close enough. Okay. And then we're going to put this on just like that. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. Oop, turn it right side up. It's always helpful not to do your things upside down. I have done that before. I've put pattern paper on my cards upside down. And then this piece is gonna go right just like that. So I'm just gonna put a little adhesive right on here. And I'm just gonna flip that over and put that right on here. like that and I am going to put one more flower right here and I don't want one that's too big because I need kind of a smaller sized one um, let's see kind of trying to find a small one that's not too big that one might work yep we'll try that one and Put, already have this one put together, so I'm going to do that just like that. All right. I was making cards earlier with these yesterday, the day before, so some of these I kind of stacked up, so I already had them glued. So I'm just going to put another glue dot on the back of this one. Take that off. And we're going to put that right in the middle. And... I'm not going to put it on the card yet because we're going to put the front on first and then you'll see what we're going to do with this one this is so fun i just love this card so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to close this up so it looks just like that where it's folded up on the corner this piece is going to fit right on top and we're going to kind of line it up so it lines up right with the piece that's underneath it i don't know if you can so we're going to line up the edges with this so when they're laid on top of each other you won't actually see the other one it'll be right on top and then we'll kind of have about the same amount around the bottom so um, but to get this on we only want to glue it onto this little triangle so i'm actually going to put my adhesive on this triangle that way i don't have to worry that i've gone too far over this way because if you put it too far over, you're going to glue your card together. We don't want to do that. So I am just going to put some adhesive right on here. And I'm not, I'm going to stay away from the edge. Because we don't want to get it too close to the edge. Because we don't want our glue to show. So, and then I'm just going to lay this right on top. And I'm going to press down on there. Oops, got a little crooked. Let me fix that. Hold on. I'm pull this off here real quick. I do want to get it straight. I couldn't see what I was doing that way. I'm going to turn it this way and do it that way. Because you do want to get it even across and down the sides. Let's get this on here. I think my other piece must be a little teeny bit crooked. All right, there we go. All right, now the fun part of this card is when it opens, it's gonna flip up just like that. This little flower, our extra flower, is gonna sit down here. We're gonna put it on a dimensional and it's actually gonna hold the card up so that the card will stay up. So 
I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of this, right in the middle. And you can see how the card's going to stand up, but we want it, not a glue dot, what's I thinking? You want to put a dimensional, <laughs> my brain has gone dead. You want to put a dimensional on the back because you want it to be able to be raised up a little bit so that the bottom of the card will um, kind of pop up just a little bit and it'll hold it in place. So let me get that in the middle. Probably should have used a teeny, there we go. So now it'll hold it up in place. So you can see, oops, there we go. I'm bending the card, that's why it's, as you can see it stands up on there and it looks just like that. So it's, when you fold it flat, it goes that way. So it does kind of like twist to the side. So I think you can see that. And then it'll stand up just like that so that people can see, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can Kind of see it's hard to see when you're looking down on it. it kind of looks like that so if you saw the other one if you saw the pieces I used earlier um, where I showed you this is another one of this it's the same card same paper um, set of papers just different flowers different things and so that one stands also stands up just like that and this is called a twisted easel card because it's an easel because it stands up and because it twists when you fold it flat. So I want to flip that one this way so you can kind of see it maybe a little bit better. Not sure if you can see that. So whoop, that one fell down. There you go. And the original one that I made when I was first trying to figure it out, there's that one. So you can see with the same papers, Whoop. you have three different looking cards. You can decorate them however you want. You could use any any papers, any colors. The fun thing about those dies is you can cut those out of any color cardstock that you want, so it would match any um, other designer series paper that you have. Um, just cut the colors of the things that you have. So there you go, and they just pop right up. And you have three kind of fun cards. So I hope you like that, um, this idea, and these cards. And I hope you'll give them a try. I will have um, all the directions and the cutting measurements um, on my blog tomorrow. So you can check that out. It's at www.jumpingintostamping.com. And hopefully you'll give it a try. If you do, I'd love to see what you make. And if you like this um, video, if you would please like my page or like the, the video or share it, that would be great. Have a great evening and I'll see you next Tuesday on Take Two Tuesday. This is Pat from Pat's Card Corner. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Good night.